my name is Kayla Thames. I'm in Fort Smith, Arkansas, standing in front of the spirit of the American Doughboy. You're looking at a bronze statue made by Ernest Moore Vikesny. This sculpture was designed to honor the veterans and casualties of World War I. The statue's design was the most popular of its kind. It produced a wave of collectible miniatures and related memorabilia, as well as numerous copies by other artists. Fort Smith's Doughboy Monument is not unique. It is part of a nationwide series of Doughboy sculptures, all designed by the artist Vikesny. Although the full number is uncertain, 136 Doughboys in 35 different states have been identified. Some experts consider it one of the most seen pieces of outdoor statuary in the nation. This statue is unique because it is dedicated specifically to the comrades who entered the service from Fort Smith and gave their lives for our country. The statue is significant because it is one of only two specifically designated Vikesny Doughboys on the National Register of Historic Places. This particular statue is listed on the National Register of Historic Places because it seemed worthy of preservation considering it represented all of the veterans and casualties from Fort Smith. It was deemed worthy because of its social history. The statue is three-dimensional. It is a naturalistic sculpture made of bronze. You are able to observe the sculpture's contrapposto created by the soldier's captured pose. He has all of his weight put on his left foot, creating the idea of motion. By closely inspecting the individual body parts, we can get a sense of realism and naturalism displayed by the sculpture. The definition of his eyes develops his emotional state. The bags under his eyes gives us a sense of fatigue and despair. The statue depicts a doughboy walking through shattered tree stumps strung with barbed wire. His rifle is in his left hand, and his right hand is held high above his head, clutching a hand grenade. This sculpture is an example of sculpture in the round, meaning it can be seen from all sides. The spirit of the American doughboy has nationalistic value because it expresses the pride and accomplishments of our culture. Psychologically, this sculpture reconstructs the past and interprets the relevance of the past to the present. The spirit of the American doughboy was influenced by Hellenistic sculptures, which show more emotion and a sense of movement than those of classical sculptures. We can compare the spirit of the American doughboy to the Hellenistic sculpture, The Boxer. In both sculptures, the eyes of the men show the physical and emotional pain they have been through. The boxer's face is turned awkwardly over his right shoulder, suggesting movement. At the same time, the doughboy suggests movement by stepping forward with his left foot and holding a grenade up in his right hand like he is about to throw it. Like the boxer, the spirit of the American doughboy is also a bronze sculpture. The boxer was an ancient symbol of violence, just as the doughboy is currently a symbol of violence and victory. Both sculptures represent those who fought for a living. The sculptures show men who are worn out and have weathered a lifetime of fighting in a realistic way. I chose this sculpture because it is in Fort Smith, Arkansas, which is right next to my hometown, Greenwood. I wanted to give a little piece of history of the region where I am from. I like this sculpture because it is a representation of all of the people who fought for our country. We need more sculptures like this one to show the pride we have for our country and those who risk their lives for it every day.